By default, the Video Timer Pro will always show you the full picture here. So you can see if we play it here, right, it's showing the full picture. And there is a zooming capability down here. And you can actually drag the little slider here. And you can see you can focus right in on a particular item. And you can drag the little screen around here to see the different parts of it here. See? And actually, if we just focused on that here, we could record a, a, a zoomed entry here. So if I just click on the start, it's recording the time. I'll record like five seconds. And I stop it. And I'm just going to say zoom view one. Zoom view one. Right, and I save that here. So it's added it down here as another observation. So you can see if I double click on this one here, it's going to play that in full size. And if I come down here and I double click on the zoom view, it plays it in the zoom view size. So what it's doing is actually remembering the coordinates of the view that you have and it's displaying it at the appropriate resolution for you right here. I can put it back down to, uh, drag it back down and make it normal again right here. Right? And then it will just play normal. Now the other way you can zoom is you can obviously move the little slider here. I'll focus it right in here. You can go really detailed here. So you can maybe say, well, let's say you want to look at the nut in detail. Right? You can just position it. So you can see what's happening right here. So you can really get in deep here if you wanted to zoom right in. In fact, you'll probably lose the resolution before you have any other uh, luck here. The other thing you can do is you can drag the little slider here. Or you can actually just use the uh, the uh, scroll on your mouse. So I'm scrolling it, I'm pushing it up, and I'm dragging it down to zoom in and out here. Right. So it gives you the ability to, um, to, if you want to focus on a particular area in your video, you can do that here, just drag it around to see the different areas, and it will reflect uh, over here as well in your uh, recorded readings. Now, what is also nice is that view is carried forward throughout the package. So, if I go to the time preview on this up the top right here, it's going to bring it up, and here you can see I can play the video here, and this is going to be my normal view here. And if I come up to my uh, zoom view up here, double click on the video again, I get the same zoom view. So it's kind of nice you're able to uh, to zoom in in particular areas of the video that might be of particular interest to you at a certain point in your process. So again, just to summarize, you can either drag the little slider down here, up and down, or you can use a sc the scroll button on your mouse to zoom in and out and make your data collection that way.